Hi, this is Beth, and this is my adventure. Thought I'd get out here, and I was looking at my craft box. Thought I'd tell you a little bit about how I'm going to make a living on the road, because that seems to be a popular thing to, you know, that's something everybody wants to know. So I do book bands, I organize tours for different people. I've got nine, I think, I believe nine on the roster, but I only actively book, like, maybe three of the bands. The rest of them, I just, when I come across something that I think they'll fit, I'll book them. Um, so they they mostly book, they book themselves, and then I just try to help out and fill some holes in their schedule. So anyway, um, one of my thoughts was I would have the, the van and travel around and find these little you know, honky-tonks, bars, whatever, along the road, hang out for a, a few days and try to get them to let me book my bands there. Because um, it's so much better in person. I've already done it uh, three times at three different venues. And now those three venues, they book, you know, I spent a week at each place. And those three venues book almost everything I have. So that's a good thing because the more I book the bands, the more they play, they get paid, then I get paid. So income from that is sporadic though. So like this past weekend, um, I had two two gigs scheduled, but they both canceled for various reasons. And that doesn't happen very often, but two in one weekend is pretty, pretty bad because that means I had no income this weekend from that. So, like, Valentine's weekend is going to be a good weekend because that's the first – I booked a casino for the first time. So my first casino gig will be on February 13th. That's a Thursday. And so on the 14th, I'll get paid for that. Usually the bands, you know, the bands go and I book the gig, the bands go play, they get paid at the end of the gig, and then the next day or, or the next two days, then they pay me. So, and it's worked out really good so far. And that's about how everybody does it, actually. You know, once the band gets paid, then they pay their managers, whatever. I'm just a booking agent. I'm not a manager. Um, maybe someday I'll get into that, but right now I'm just a booking agent. Um, so I do that, which consists of emailing, searching online for venues, watching Facebook, watching other artists on Facebook to see where they're playing to, to add venues to my list. My list is growing. Um, a lot of Facebook is, is big because, you know, everybody posts there. Of course, everybody's there. So I, I do watch Facebook a lot. Um, I use Indie on the Move. They, they're good for independent artists. And um, Yelp.com, if I want a particular city, then I'll go to Yelp and put in live venues or, or something, whatever it is I'm looking for, and just start cold calling. But I'll, I'll do the, usually do the email and the research early in the mornings, and then in the afternoons, about 3 o'clock is my, my time that I start getting on the phones, and then I just start calling venues. Um, of course, return calls throughout the day, but at 3 o'clock, I just start calling venues. And I, I try to do at least 10 to 15 calls a day, at least, you know, if not more. But that's my 10 is my minimum right now, because if I don't do that, then I'm not going to make any money. So right now, it's February, what is it, February 5th. So right now, I'm booking February, March, April, and May. So most venues, not all of them, but most of them will book three months out. So I'm... Um, focusing on April and May right now. So anyway, that's a big income. And then I get crafty and I make things and I, I pick up things here and there and I can go to flea markets that are generally pretty cheap for a booth. Like this one in Cleveland I'm going to next weekend is $15 a day for a booth and it's their table. I don't have to pull out my table. I have one, but there I don't have to pull it out. So for $15 I go and put all my all the stuff that I've collected that I want to get rid of, I go put it on the table and hopefully sell most of it. Like all this crap back here, there's a lot of it I want to sell. There's candles back there, books, uh, a few DVDs, um, some jewelry that I've made. I mean, just I'd like to get to where I just have one or two things that pack up small and that I can go put out because I don't want to just be a, I just don't want to be there with a million things on my table. Anyway, but that's it. I do that. I book the bands, I get crafty, I sell the stuff at trade shows, I get on Craigslist and I look for odd jobs like office cleaning and you know stuff like that. And when I'm in the bigger cities like Houston or Austin or whatever, it's easier to find those jobs. Out here in the middle of nowhere, they're 
there is none to be had. I've helped garden a couple of times since I've been here, but you know that's it's February right now, and there's nothing to do in a garden pretty much. So anyway, that's the income part of this journey for now. I do have the YouTube videos, and I started doing more because you can make a few bucks. I'm not going to get rich off of YouTube, but you know there's I can make a you know a few bucks anyway. And I take pictures and do little videos all the time anyway, so I might as well share them on YouTube and make a few cents. So I do have the blog. Don't make any money off of that, but it gets my thoughts out there. And it's more for me than anybody else. So, you know, if somebody else enjoys it, great. But if nobody sees it, that's fine with me. It doesn't bother me at all. The only thing with YouTube, really, I mean, it's just getting my thoughts down, I guess. You know, what I'm doing making me feel like I'm connected, you know, and gives me somebody to talk to sometimes when I'm out here by myself, yeah, so when I'm doing this, am I talking to you or am I talking to myself, I'm not sure, I don't know, anyway, but I got this from a friend a while back, and when I was selling Scentsy Candles, I don't do that anymore, but anyway, if you can see it, it's a, a little tile, like you would get for backsplash tiles, it's maybe a one by two, I think this one is, but you can get one by one, you know, one inch by one inch, and or you can get many sizes. But I thought if I could take a picture and print it, put it on the back of a tile, stick the little um, bells there, cheap little ball chain, and sell it. These flea markets, these teenagers will go crazy over it. I just know they will. But I have to have the setup to, to print right there, and I have to do a little research, see what the glue is. But that can't be too hard. Anyway, I thought I'd make those and sell those maybe this summer. Get set up. And that's it. So there's the income part of this journey. Or what it is so far anyway. So I'm going to work camp in on Lake Buchanan starting March 1st. That'll be fun. I work 12 hours a week for an RV space. Full hookups. And she says she's got a full-time job there so I can go ahead and work 40 to 50 hours a week if I want to so and I get paid for anything over the first 12 hours so that'll be good I want to do that and hopefully get some stuff done to the van like the headliner after I fix the the roof leak which a friend was supposed to come over yesterday and I never heard from him so I don't know if he's coming or not so to help me do that so anyway got to get some stuff done to the van and Hopefully, while I'm work camping in the spring, I'll be able to do that. And I don't know where I want to go after that. Um, I've been talking to Scott, so I might go up to Colorado and see Scott. Um, my friend James says he's going to Colorado, too. And I don't know. The Laura and a few other people are down on the coast, and I want to do a coast run sometime, like boondock from South Padre all the way around to the Keys all along the, the Gulf Coast. I don't know how long that would take me to do it. I'd have to work along the way, so I have to stop and, you know, stop in towns and stay for days or weeks or whatever. Um, I want to do Route 66 from one end to the other, L.A. to Chicago or Chicago to L.A., whichever. I want to do that one day. Um, I want to go back to Pensacola. I want to go around the mountains, like the Rockies or somewhere. I'm not sure which one yet, but maybe all of them. So that's a good thing about being in the van. You know, you just, whenever you decide, I'm planned up through March, April, May, I'll spend at Lake Buchanan getting some stuff done. I've got a plan for that. But past that, I have no plan. And between now and March 1st, when I get to the lake, I have somewhat of a plan, but I'm sure it'll change. I mean, I'm here till the 14th. And then I'm going to go around Houston and visit a bunch of friends. I've got a couple of days, specific days for specific friends, but the rest of it is just kind of open. I've got a couple of jobs to do while I'm there, so I'll make, make some money. And that's it. I think I've talked too long this time, but that's okay. You don't have to watch it all. So anyway, that's it. That's the money part. That's a little bit of my plans. And this is the dirty van. And that's not really dirty, really. It just kind of looks like it because it's such a freaking mess.
because there's so much stuff. Anyway, so ciao, babies. <laughs>